Okay, thank you very much. Um, well, thank you very much uh, uh, for the invitation. It's also my first time uh, giving this uh, presentation in the metaverse. I found this a uh, very interesting way to communicate what we are doing. Today's presentation is uh, about um, Earth Observation and GIS Laboratory, GeoLab, a uh, success story in Paraguay. We developed this uh, next slide, please. Uh, we developed this uh, laboratory after uh, 2019 uh, events, disaster events in Paraguay. We have a very big floodings and, and also a wildfire. In the same year, we uh, activated the International Charter for Space and Major Disasters. Two times that, that year, the, the floodings affected more than 100,000 families and also the, the wildfires affected more than 300,000 hectares. Uh, in, in both cases, we activated, as I mentioned, the International Charter and we delivered more than 200 uh, value-added products to the National Emergency Secretariat. Uh, we are living in a changing world and to uh, make better decisions uh, we need data, we need geospatial data. That's why we created this GeoLab. Next slide, please. To develop pilot projects uh, regarding the Earth observation applications, uh, applying techniques, methods, data, analysis uh, in the decision-making process in disaster risk reduction, agriculture, land management, uh, natural resources management and many other areas. Next slide, please. We are a member of the international partnerships and, and international network of laboratories. Um, and also we are receiving a very important international cooperation from uh, many partners like uh, NASA, JAXA, ESA. Uh, we are working very, very, strength, uh, very strongly with international space forums like uh, International Astronautical Federation, the Group of Earth Observations, and both of them, where Paraguay is having uh, decision level positions right now. We are very proud of, of the, the the path we are we were walking in these uh, six years of, of life of the Paraguayan Space Agency, and also at the regional level, we are in a very good relationship and. Uh, um, memorandums of, of cooperation, of understanding with CONAE, uh, with other institutions uh, like CONIDA in Peru and, and others. Um, for us, it's very important that international cooperation is key in order to accelerate the development in any country, especially in the emerging countries like Paraguay. Next slide, please. Uh, we have also many collaborators from worldwide. Uh, from those institutions, for example, uh, the disaster program from NASA, from ESRI, from the academia, uh, and at many levels, uh, at the student level and also at researchers and faculty level. Um, with all this uh, human force, we are developing uh, pilot projects and, and initiatives that is um, related to implementing Earth observation application and technology demonstration on how the space can benefit life on Earth. Next slide, please. Uh, our team is mostly young professionals. Uh, next slide, please. Um, let me add that 70% of our team is uh, are women. Um, and more than 71% are is it from with uh, STEM, STEM, STEM careers uh, background. Next slide, please. As I mentioned, more than 70% is uh, of the GeoLab team is uh, composed by uh, women. Uh, next slide. In order to develop our activities, we install our first infrastructure. As you can see in the screen, we have our, our first uh, infrastructure for satellite data analysis and for project implementation. Uh, next slide, please. 
And this uh, infrastructure we are replicating in many institutions like the academia. As you can see in the screen, we have another geolab in the national in the in university here in Paraguay that provides uh, training and advisory for the students that are developing projects re related to space, space science and technology, especially in <clears throat> earth observation applications. Next slide, please. The idea is to replicate these uh, geolabs and, uh, in the country and also in Latin America. Um, <clears throat> we are developing many activities and many uh, pilot projects. Next slide, please. Some of them is uh, I, I will show you here as a product. Camilo, we can we can uh, go through those maps uh, very quickly. It's just for showing how we are working with the data, how we are analyzing. Uh, most of this work as is done by students. Uh, is, some of them are their first work. Some of them are part of their research. Some of them is part of a uh, more important research, and we are we are also uh, testing um, tools like GeoGlose. The GeoGlose is a hydrological model from the group of Earth observations that predicts. Uh, is the 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 idea of the model is to predict the floodings. We are testing this model and we are adjusting this model to have more accurate. Uh, more accurate uh, results. Next slide. And also we are monitoring um, constantly uh, the environmental variables, uh, the surface, the atmosphere, the quality of air, the heat spots, uh, the floodings, and we are helping uh, national institutions to improve the decision making. Next slide please. We are also working with the National Statistics Institute in order to use the space science and technology to advance in the uh, ODS on the SDG uh, uh, achievement in, in, in many, as you can see in the screen, uh, we are advancing in our uh, SDG uh, reporting. Uh, we started with 21% uh, and now we are near the 50% of the reporting in between 2017 and 2022. Next slide, please. Yes, this is uh, the same uh, direction. The GeoLab is a tool in order to uh, improve the accomplishment of the, of the SDGs. Uh, next slide, please. Those are some of the uh, uh, environmental indicators, uh, NDI, NDWI, NDI, uh, and others. I don't. I will not go into details. I just want to mention that every indicate, indicator, uh, in uh, every index, uh, measure a specific uh, variable that is uh, related to agriculture or to disaster or to other. Uh, applications of air observation. Next slide, please. I'm reaching almost the end. Uh, next slide. Yeah, also we are doing a water food footprint analysis. Uh, in, in, in Paraguay, we have a recurrent floodings and we, the water as a natural resources and also as a natural, uh, as, as a, Water-related disaster uh, is also a recurrent uh, issue that we need to monitor uh, constantly. Next slide, please. And this is the monitoring team, uh, mo mostly from the faculty members and students from the national universities. More, uh, more than five universities are involved in this monitoring team. Um, next slide, please. And also, finally, the GeoLab projects. Next slide. We are implementing uh, a strengthening on our infrastructure uh, with the PADF uh, project. Next slide. Also, we are developing uh, pilot projects in in next slide in education. Uh, 
and also we are implementing with many institutions a, a new portal, a geospatial portal in Latin America. Next slide, please. This, next slide. This is one of the most important pilot projects. We are implementing with Panama, with S3 Panama, and, and in Paraguay in two uh, high schools. The use of earth observation as a uh, how to say um, has a, as a oh, yes, it's an optional activity uh, with very good results. Uh, in the next slide, we are we want to the, the high school students and the school students have uh, early. Uh, knowledge about the earth, uh, earth observation applications and uh, some of the tools that is uh, available. S3 is providing us uh, the software and the training and we also are uh, supporting the training for those uh, high schools. Next slide please. We are, we are building the next generation of scientists, engineers. Uh, I, I have to say that the results of uh, over uh, it's uh, surpass our expectations. Uh, we are in, in installing a, a new, a new generation of uh, analysis. As you can see, in Panama, uh, there are many students involved, and in Paraguay, we are finishing this year uh, our first uh, training course uh, in high schools. Also, next slide, please. And also, we are working in the in a portal, geo portal for the Paraguayan Space Agency, open with open data, open science. We are at the same uh, page that many space agencies. We all the work that we are that we do are free, of course, of charge, um, or our trainings are free, or our data are open, and we promote the open science. Next slide, please. Well, this is uh, what I have to share with you today, and I'm looking forward to collaborate in the future uh, in the future projects. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Alejo, for your presentation. Maybe one have we have question uh, time for one question? Uh, may I? Yes, yes please go ahead. Um, um, I'd like to just know um, the challenges and difficulties you face um, well, in, 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 in the activities and everything that you do, um, especially when it comes to um, you know reaching out to students. Uh, um, what what what's, what are the challenges that you face? In, in short, um, first challenge is the resources. Sometimes the uh, resources uh, are. Uh, uh, diff make more difficult many things, and the second the second challenge is uh, knowledge. Uh, some students uh, still doesn't have the clarity on how or why it's important that they uh, develop skills develop skills in 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 this kind of pro of projects. They don't see it yet as an opportunity. Um, in both cases, we need to be very creative in order to uh, reach mobilize. This, the resources and also to communicate very effectively to the student on why or, or the importance of the developing this kind of skills. This is a very, very uh, big opportunity for them. Uh, space sector is growing very fast. Uh, it is a very important economic sector. It's not only opportunity for the student, but also for the professionals and uh, for the countries. Uh, we cannot lose this train. Uh, that is our our main narrative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, you, Alejo. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you so much for your time.